from here. And this is baked, and we'll explain that in just a second here. You have the medium option, and you have the fair option, okay? So medium, fair, medium, fair. There we go, all right? And this also comes with the brush as well, and it's a retractable, which I love because then if you want to, you know, stipple, you can. If you want a more, you know, um, kind of all over brush, you've got that as well. $38 gets it home. It is available on auto delivery, and the price would actually go down to 33 because you're not going to need that brush. So 350,000 of these have been picked up. And I only giggle while I say that because that's a massive number, right? So it's obviously a customer favorite. It's obviously very, very popular. Now in this hour, we're going to be talking all about fall trends. We're going to be building a fall trend face. And so I say we jump into this first tutorial and then I can introduce you to our guest. This is fall trend report. New nudes, oh fancy pants over here. So I wanna welcome in our very brand new to Beauty IQ guest. This is Ashley Glazer. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi Lee. Hi, I'm so happy you're here. So I've gotta brag about you for a second. So you're brand new, so you, if you turn a little pink, if that's, you know, if you're getting- I didn't bronze yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a little embarrassed, it's okay, but it's just because we love you. <laughs> 10 plus years as a makeup artist in New York City, has a major fashion celebrity client. Um, she does tons and tons of brides. So that to me right there, fashion clients and brides, she is up on the beauty trend. <laughs> and you may recognize her from television. That's right, that's right. <laughs> she does beauty, beauty <laughs> trends on morning shows and now she's here. She's here on the BIQ. All right, that's it, that's it, I, I'm done. I could <laughs> go on, you. but we need to build our faces. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can't be without bronzer for this long. It's killing me. So <laughs> let's talk about this. It's a baked bronze in Brighton. What does baked mean? So baked means that they start their lives off as liquids and then they're baked on terracotta tiles in Italy and Laura has chosen these multi-dimensional swirls so it color corrects as well. Oh nice. So you can see there's pale pink, there's oh there's a fly. <laughs> that doesn't come in your bronzer. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's sold separately. Yeah. <laughs> so there's pale pink, there's soft sand tones. This is the fair that I'm holding up. Um, there's soft shades of gold and whispers of roses and bronze. And then in the medium, you can see it gets a little bit deeper. And there's a little bit darker bronze, there's a little softer, kind of a petal pink and golden tones. So the, all these these colors are baked together and then they are baked on a terracotta tile and then they're dried off into here so when you're done the terracotta tiles at the bottom and then it just applies a really smooth air air feel lightweight pigment on the skin nice okay so let's dive in how do I know which one to use so it really depends on how bronze you'd like to be. Um, what's great about the baked pigments is that they're sheer and they're buildable. So I'm gonna use medium. So if you are more fair, if you are burn easily in the sun, if you prefer to use um, wear silver jewelry or you like to wear lots of creams and lots of whites, um, you're gonna be fair. And if you're more medium olive skin tone like myself, then you're gonna go for the medium. Okay, perfect. All right, so how are we using this? All right, so I'm gonna use our retractable brush. I love the tip that you gave how you can uh, swipe it up to make it a little bit tighter or yeah. fold back so it's fluffy. I'm gonna use it full fluff and I like to swirl the brush around to pick up all the different shades of pigment. I'm going full fluff too. Go full fluff. <laughs> and then I like to start at the hairline and work my way under the cheekbone and around the jaw. Oh, okay, so we're basically just doing this where we would normally um, get kind the of, sun. Okay. Yeah. So this <laughs> trend. Like contour, kind of. This, well, yeah, it's, you are contouring. So this trend is all about that monochromatic nude. So for fall, we do want to keep our color. It's not, it is about being warm and um, really just monochromatic. So it's not about super, super bronze. It's just really sheer and the same color all over. Okay. So we're really dusting it along the hairline, under the jaw really blending, you wanna make sure you get under the jawline, that helps to kind of slim out our jaw as well. Mm. And then you can even dust it over the eyes so you get that really monochromatic, super trendy nude. We're seeing all the supermodels like Gigi Hadid and Kaya Gerber, they just have like this natural glow without having so much mm. makeup on. So a baked pigment like this, can it's so gentle, you can use it all over. Nice, okay, so um, what is your brush in, what mode? My brush is still in full fluff mode. Full fluff. But if you tag full fluff. <laughs> but you can make it tighter, like you said. So you can pull it up a little bit higher, and then you can go ahead and you can kind of use it to just dust on your eyes like a bronze shadow. 
Oh, pretty. Oh, um, I believe we have a hashtag coming. Oh. Oh, oh full fluff. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> so cute. All right, cool. So I'm going over the eyes as well. Really pretty. And it just really creates this warmth all over the skin and just naturally accentuates your shadows. Um, shadows meaning your natural creases, so it, it emphasizes your eye and mm. brings out your bone structure Ooh. without having to do too many things. I, I love... have to tell you, I'm not kidding. Like, just today, I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, really? My tan's gone already? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I worked really hard on that this summer <laughs> with sunscreen on, but still, it's like gone, gone. It like, goes fast. Completely disappeared, <laughs> done. Well, it's back. <laughs> it's all back now with full fluff. All right, so um, you have two choices. Uh, I used the medium. You also used the medium, I believe. Yes, I used the medium. And then we also have the fair available as well. But really easy to use this. Um, we just kind of went around in that three and that E, right? Yeah, number three. three. E. That's how I love to teach it like that. Um, really working in the hairline. You don't want to see any pale scalp. But again, these these um, bronzers are they're sheer and they're buildable, so you won't get that kind of orange harsh line, which is what's so great about them being baked and having the swirls of pigment. Is that it's you, it's kind of foolproof. So if I wanted to just brush this all over my face, could I do that just for like an all over glow versus like the contour situation? Yeah, you definitely can. Okay, perfect. Well, um, I'm gonna air a little dirty laundry. Um, <laughs> So I don't really like this part because I feel like my hair is really light right there. So I take, so TMI. I do it. So I just, <laughs> uh, while I'm at it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's dermatologist tested, so it's safe for all over. <laughs> I always fill in my hairline. Yeah, I mean, just, my hair is super dark, so I need something a little darker than this, but I will do it with an eyeshadow. Yeah, I usually fill in with something a little darker too, but I mean, since I have this, I might, yeah, as, may well, as, well. Right? might as well, right? Make use of it, MacGyver. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now, um, you and I both had our foundation on. Yes. So, are we popping this over foundation normally, or is this something that we can use in lieu of foundation, or what do you recommend? Either or, um, it's, a, it's a bronzer, so if you use it without foundation, um, you, it won't be adding super coverage to cover any redness or any um, pigmentation that you wanna hide or cover. I wouldn't suggest cover under eye circles with a bronzer, but it's definitely gentle enough. Um, if you're just running out the door or at the beach, I love to put sunscreen on and then apply this, or if you're traveling anytime soon, you can wear it on its own. I do like to wear it over foundation or over my Balance and Brighten foundation, because I like to enhance the skin, and the trend is like that monochromatic new to just really emphasize the cheeks and that warm color. Color. Nice. But it depends on your skin. Okay. I'm self-conscious, so I like to always have a little bit of coverage on. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're just like airing all of our yeah. dirty laundry. <laughs> and it, it's Ashley's first show, and <laughs> we're just going to ask you a ton of questions. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I also want to just let everybody know who's watching, whether you're watching on TV, whether you're watching on BeautyIQ.com, whether you're hanging out with us on Facebook, come in and join us on our Facebook chat. This is a really fun place to be where you can connect with other beauty lovers just like yourself and ask any questions that you may have. Ashley is a wealth of information. Um, she's, you know, a, a global artistic director for Laura Geller, 10 plus years in the biz. She's all up on the fall trends. If you have any questions about Laura Geller's brand or the products or the formulations or how to apply something or what color is right, this is the, um, the place for you to come in and ask questions. Okay, so with this, remember, it is on auto delivery, so you can get it home every 90 days. The price goes down because you'll just get the um, bronzer, the brush comes in the first order, and you have your choice of the medium or the fair. Okay? Boop and boop. Time to move mm -hmm. on. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> hi, Deborah. She says, hi, Elise. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> okay, so moving on to, oh, back from the vault. Yes, please. Okay, I love blush. Um, I feel like people have very strong opinions about blush. <laughs> I just want to point out that this is a 